This video is brought to you by OWC. Stick around to the end of this video for more information. Storage is very important. Your internal storage can be very precious. And if you're looking to get a new Mac and you're struggling between maybe a couple of terabytes or 256, 500 gigs of SSD storage, well, that's gonna run you a lot of money. That is why a lot of people, myself included, pick up a few external hard drives so I can save costs on internal storage on my Mac. More specifically, I like to pick up solid state drives or SSDs. So in this video, I rounded up a handful of my favorite SSDs that I've been using over the past couple of months. And then I wanted to show you what each drive offers in terms of performance and design and durability. So the drives that we've featured in this video are the Lassie Mobile SSD, the G Drive Mobile SSD, the OWC Envoy Pro EX in both the standard and video editions, the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD, and the ever so popular Samsung T5 SSD. The Lassie Mobile, the Samsung T5, and the SanDisk Extreme are all USB-C 3.1 compatible and are also our more portable and lightweight options. So we'll start with these three first. The mobile SSD from Lassie has a sleek and clean aluminum design that is very simple with the Lassie logo on top and of course a USB-C port on the side of the device. The SSD can easily fit in the palm of your hand, which is kind of the theme for most of these SSDs. And when on the go, it can withstand a few drops, maybe up to 10 feet. So if you happen to fumble it out of your pocket, it's not going to be the end of the world. Now the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD really lives up to that name. Well, the portable part at least. This thing is super tiny and extremely lightweight. In fact, it's so lightweight that I'm afraid I could easily break this thing if I stick it in my back pocket and then maybe sit down. Uh, the top part is what looks to be perforated plastic surrounded by a rubber enclosure. And of course, there's also this little ring hook area at the top so that you can attach this to your keys or your backpack so that you have it on you at all times. Your one USB-C port can be found at the bottom of the device. And even though this device is meant to be the most rugged looking out of the three, it can only withstand some drops up to about six feet, but it is IP55 certified. So if you keep your hard drive around a lot of water or maybe at your desk and you accidentally spill some water on it, it will have some water resistance. And finally, rounding out the smaller USB 3.1 SSDs, we have the Samsung T5, which is a very simple rectangle in this nice blue looking color with some Samsung T5 branding on the top and at the bottom, as well as your USB-C port on this side. Most of these drives have that clean and minimal design, but this is probably one of the more classier looking SSDs of the bunch and offers drop protection to up to six feet. Nothing too crazy though. As I mentioned before, these SSDs are USB 3.1 and they all boast transfer speeds up to about 540 megabytes per second, except for the SanDisk Extreme, which offers a slightly higher 550 megabytes per second. Of course, we had to run some tests ourselves and we started off with the common Blackmagic disk speed test and we got scores that were all very similar to one another. These SSDs tend to hover around the 490 megabytes per second mark for write speeds and around 530 megabytes per second for read. Then I tried to do a real world test by transferring over a bunch of 4K video footage off of my computer from a past video project. And once the folder was drag and dropped onto the drive, I started the stopwatch app. This is obviously not an exact science as there is probably a one to two second delay here and there, but it's gonna give you an idea of what you're working with. And the SanDisk Extreme edged out the other two by about six and 21 seconds respectively, with the Lassie Mobile coming in at number two and the Samsung T5 taking the longest at number three. Uh, moving on to our last few hard drives, and the main thing to note with these is that they are all USB-C Thunderbolt 3 compatible, which of course is going to give us much faster data transfer speeds, but it's also going to be a lot more expensive. The first one here is the G Drive Mobile Pro SSD, and you can already tell that these SSDs will be a bit bigger and heavier in size than the previous models. We have a rubber and plastic enclosure with the G drive and Thunderbolt logos plastered on the front, as well as an LED indicator for when the drive is plugged in and on on one side with the USB-C port flanking on the other. None of these SSDs are going to be super big and they'll all fit in that portable mold and range, but I probably wouldn't want to put this guy in my pocket a whole lot. The OWC Envoy Pro EX might be the most rugged looking and is certainly the largest SSD of the bunch, 
but it also has a removable bumper, which adds a bit more protection to the SSD, but also adds a lot more bulk and weight. I recommend keeping the bumper on since you're most likely going to throw this thing around in your bag loosely with other devices in there, and it really could benefit from that extra protection. The Envoy Pro EX also has Thunderbolt 3 compatibility and even goes as far as to integrate the cable right into the SSD. Now, depending how you want to look at this, it could be a positive or a negative feature. For me, I'm not the biggest fan of integrated cables because once that cable dies, it's going to be a very hard thing to replace or fix where the other SSDs won't have this problem as any USB-C cable will work as long as it's Thunderbolt 3 compatible for those drives that are Thunderbolt 3. The G Drive Pro SSD and the Envoy Pro EX both boast transfer speeds up to 2,500 megabytes per second and the Envoy Pro EX Video Edition, for you video editors out there, can see transfer speeds up to 2,800 megabytes per second, according to OWC. Just like the previous SSDs that we checked out, we ran a few read-write speed tests, as well as the real-world test for 4K video file transfer, and here are those results. The differences between these three drives are pretty small when running the Blackmagic disk speed test. The Envoy Pro Video Edition performed better than the other two in read speeds and outperformed the Standard Edition in write, but fell a bit short by a very small margin to the G Drive Mobile. Now, specs from speed tests don't always directly translate to real-world tests, however, as you can see by these results, as the Envoy Pro Standard and Video Edition outperformed the G Drive Mobile by 7 and 10 seconds respectively, even though the G Drive Mobile tested better in the speed tests. Aside from the extra 300 megabytes per second that's advertised between the standard and the video, OWC claims the Video Edition is optimized to handle video production, AR and VR, and virtual effects projects. I'm not entirely sure how this SSD better performs with those type of projects compared to the other SSDs that I featured in this video, but I can confirm that all of these drives can handle Final Cut Pro libraries and editing right off of the drive just fine. So the obvious conclusion to all of this is that the Thunderbolt 3 drives, while much more expensive as you can see here, is significantly faster in pretty much all aspects. If you are someone who transfers lots of large video files on a daily basis or edits video and audio projects off of an external hard drive, I would strongly recommend going with a Thunderbolt 3 SSD if you can, because you can save yourself a lot of time in the long run with data transfers, edits, etc. If I had to pick, I'd go with either the G Drive Mobile or the Envoy Pro EX Standard Edition. I'm still not a huge fan of the integrated cable, but OWC does offer a three-year warranty in which they will send you a replacement drive if something was to happen to the cable, and they'll recover any data from the drive if needed. As far as those USB-C 3.1 SSDs go, these drives perform very well, and while there are some noticeable time differences between the 3.1 and the Thunderbolt 3, if that doesn't matter for you and you want to get more storage for a lot less money, then any of these three SSDs would be a great choice. During our testing, the SanDisk Extreme was the fastest, but just by a slight margin, but the other two seem to be a bit more durable and not as easy to lose because it's so small. If I had to pick one, I'd probably go with the Samsung T5 as my current go-to choice. So let me know what you think of these SSDs, and if you're thinking about picking one up, which one you're looking at or which one you might already own in the comment section down below. Also, before we end this video, I do want to give a shout out and more information about today's video sponsor, OWC. In fact, we actually just featured and talked about the Envoy Pro EX Standard and Video Edition SSDs, and they are fantastic external SSD drives. But OWC also offers a wide range of other products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C docks, and they even started selling quality new and used Apple products at great price points. For more than 25 years, OWC has been committed to one goal of constant innovation and great customer service in order to create DIY solutions for customers to get the most out of their technology. For more information or to browse more OWC products, head on over to MacSales.com. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.